sure you don't want to go up today? No, I'm going to gather up the kids and feed them. OK, I'll try not to stay up too long. See ya. find out if they're going to keep their jobs. And we're here to meet the new owner and to sign this lease. Oh. D.G. Marco, what's uh, D.G. stand for? 
I don't know, but whoever this Marco is, he's done a really nice job with renovating Lou's place. Take him inside. That's wow. good. Over by the bar. My goodness. <laughs> Maybe we should have brought a present. I don't know. It looks like somebody died. I'm uh, Miss Buchanan, and, uh, well, if you're going to be one of the new waitresses here, let me assure you that you'll be getting all of my business. Well, thank you, sugar. I'm the owner. Oh. But I will appreciate your business. You're DG Marco? Please call me Donna. You must be Garner Ellerby. I must be. <laughs> and, of course, Ryan McBride. Oh, yes, hello. I use the initials in business because it's easier. Change is good. I, I like it here. I, I do. Yeah. Oh, that's awfully sweet of him. Mm -hmm. Hi, girls. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're all so lovely. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I think the customer should be paying attention to you, not the prices. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Hey, that's nice. Nice. <laughs> Those uniforms have to go. Oh, oh so do we. Uh, it's nice to meet you. OK. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. killed in an accident and three days later they have a party evidently the party was planned about three months ago half these people are clients phone in from all over the country wall street big bucks why you because i'm an old friend and a very good dancer i guess those dancing lessons paid off huh yeah and speaking of getting paid what are we doing here? Oh, work, work, work. We just lighten up and enjoy the day. Look, it, I, I'm not real sure about this. Don't worry. I won't bite. You better not. Well, not that hard anyway. Hey, Mitch! Over here! There's that guy. Follow me. <laughs> Ah, ah, ladies first. Hey, you. Hey. Oh, thank you. You look coming. terrific. Thank you, you too. Buddy. Hey. <laughs> Ryan, I'd like you to meet Rhett and Deborah. This nice is my pleasure. Hi. Nice to pleasure. meet you. Hi. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Hell of a spread you got here. Yeah, well, you know, we're just putting up a good front for the clients. We're all still pretty numb about what happened to Doug. Sorry to hear about that. It's a terrible accident. Mitch, we don't think what happened to Doug was necessarily an accident. Look, let's go grab a bite and we can talk. Yeah. Last month, our senior legal counsel died back east. Fell asleep in his hotel room, smoking in bed. You don't think that was an accident either? Mitch, this was a five-star hotel. The smoke detector in his room mysteriously fails, along with the hotel sprinkler system? I don't think so. So you've had two deaths. What do the cops say? But we haven't pushed the police. As far as everyone's concerned, these are two separate accidents. We're a public company. The press would crucify us. It could be just that. A coincidence. Anyway. Brian, we've known Mitch since high school. We need someone we can trust. Someone who'll be discreet. If this is our imaginations, just tell us. And what if it's not? We'll take whatever you find to the authorities and push like hell. So, is this the kind of thing you can do? Oh, yeah, definitely. Great. I feel better already. Well, when can you start? Well, it seems all your executives and most of your clients are here, so I'd say we can start tonight. That's great. Nikki Donald. Hi. Hi. Oh, I've been looking for you too. Yeah, there's plenty of time for that. First, listen, I want you to meet an old friend of mine, Mitch Buchanan. Hi. And his associate, Ryan McBride. 
Nikki Schachter and Donald Jansen, two of Ranker's best people. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Hey, Oops. That's me. <laughs> I gave a couple of folks from Omaha on my little harbor tour. Tied her off and some other guy slip. Uh, sounds like he's back. <laughs> Looks like the party's working. Well, the timing's a little awkward for us. That's all. Well, Mitch and Ryan are going to help us find out what really happened to Doug. Oh. They're private investigators. <coughs> well, look, I wish you the best of luck, but I really must get out of this night air. My hay fever's killing me. Donald? <coughs> Well, I'm sure glad we're finally getting some help here. And, um, listen, if there's anything I can do, please let me know. We'll let you know. Uh, there are a couple other people I'd like you to meet. See you later, Nikki. Nice to meet nice you. To meet Have you. fun. Nice Bye. You got any ideas? Not a clue. Call 911. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, God! Hey. Hi. How's Red doing? It's hard to say. They've got him so doped up. But Deborah's with him. She's been here all night. Well, did the cops find anything? They still think it's an accident. They haven't made a connection between the other two. Well, they will. I need to know more about what goes on at Ranker. <sighs> right now, I have an office full of people waiting for me. Well, can you meet me later for dinner? With both Rhett and Deborah out of the loop. I really do have my hands full. Nikki, I need some information, and I don't think Debbie's up to a lot of questions right now. Like what? Well, to start off with who, why, what's the motive? I think corporate sabotage. Someone's trying to ruin us, set us up for a hostile takeover by destroying our management team. All right, that's the motive. But who? I mean, who would want it bad enough to kill three people? I see what you mean. OK, where? Nights, club on the beach. I'll find it. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. Hey. How's he doing? We've gone from touch and go to holding his own. I'm afraid to ask anymore. 
You know when Rhett and I were in college, yeah? We played on the varsity water polo team together, right? Well, we were sophomores, so we didn't get much playing time. Well, when Rhett finally got a shot, he comes in, he gets slammed to the side of the pool <laughs> by two seniors. He broke his wrist. But you know he kept on playing? He didn't ask to be taken out of the game. Rhett never told me that. Kept on playing, and he scored two goals. Now, this man knows how to fight pain, and he knows how to win. There's no way he's gonna lose this fight. Yeah. But you gotta hang in, and you gotta give him all the strength you can give him. I will. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, what'd you get from the guys downtown, Garner? These were taken by the Malibu Sheriff's accident investigators. Mm-hmm. See this? This is the aluminum glider strut. You see these marks on it? Mm-hmm. I don't think those are metal fatigue. Are you saying that somebody cut that hang glider frame? Yeah, it's possible. I need to take a look at that strut. Hey, did you know that Deborah filed for divorce last year? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that, but I also heard they patched the whole thing up. But they... Thanks. ...worked it out. What did the police find at the marina? Well, they pulled the boat up first thing this morning. It was uh, loose wires, faulty fuel pump, leaky gas line. Accident. Yeah, looks like we did them. I don't buy that at all. Can you call in a favor downtown? Probably. Have them check for something sophisticated, like gelignite or plastique. Laid against the fuel tank. And a remote trigger, not a timer. Well, that'll cost me a lot of favors, but I'll see what I can do. Also think I'll put in some undercover time at Rancor. Prowl around, see if I can dish up some dirt. Gas man again? Oh, I think maybe telephone man this time. That's always interesting. Very good. And you? Well, I want to find out what's changed, who's new, who's angry, who profits, and who suffers from all this. Great. What about you? Me? I got a dinner date. Oh. With who? Nikki Shepter. Nice work. McBride, Confidential Investigations. Really, a private dick. Not my favorite choice of words. I'm sorry. Uh, would you like to sit down? Uh, no, thank you. It's just you're the first woman that I've met in this line of work. Uh, what were you before, a cop? A forensic specialist. And I'd love to sit here and swap resumes with you, but. I'm in kind of a hurry. You got a call from a Miss Deborah Collins, didn't you? Yes, she said to uh, cooperate, so uh, what can we do for you? You've been Ranker's headhunter for... Every new executive hired in the last 10 years. Great. All right, well, I'm interested in the most recent, say, past year and a half. Well, uh, let's see what we have over here. Hmm. All righty. This is the latest. Paul Prasard, Corin Tongs, Nikki Schachter. Yeah, yeah, what about her? Acquisitions and development, impeccable background. And before her, Donald Jansen. Jansen went to Harvard, Wharton School of Finance. A real up-and-comer. Where was he during this two-year period? Uh, he could have been on sabbatical. I don't know, I have four more, do you want them? Yeah, can you give me hard copies of these? Sure. Then uh, maybe we could do some work on your resume. Yeah, maybe we could. I think we really could.
Hey. Hi. Want to join you? Sure, go ahead. So what do you think of the place? You like it? Love it. What would make it better? Um, pool table. Bumper? No, regulation. Competition size, four and a half by nine, or bar size, four by eight? Four by eight. You got it. Just like that? Just like that. Why? So you'll spend your time and spend your money. Hey, you made it. Hi, sorry. Sit down, sit down. Between the rain and the traffic and everything. No apologies needed. Believe me, the wait was well worth it. Thank you. What are you drinking? Uh, whatever you're having. Iced tea. Long Island? <laughs> no, strictly West Coast. Uh, I'll have the same then. Okay. So, you have questions? Yeah, yeah, I got a few. Do you have a list of suspects? Well, I'm working on that. Am I on it? Should you be? Where did you get those suspicious eyes? Police? FBI? CIA? Uh, try lifeguard. <laughs> no, lifeguard? As in beach? As in the sand. What's the connection between being a lifeguard and doing PI work? I don't know. Maybe I just like helping people in trouble. Ah, sounds like a white knight complex. Here's two knights in shining armor. And damsels in distress. Well, thanks again for coming, huh? Well, I hope I was of some help. Anyway, I'm glad I came. I needed to relax a little. Relax? You must have looked at your watch a dozen times. <laughs> Force of habit. Thank you. I feel a lot better knowing that you and your team are on this case. Hang on, hang on. I'll get it. all right. Police kept asking, who wants to kill you? Like I can pull out a list or something. But you know, then I kept thinking, she's right. Someone, someone I probably know wants me dead. I'm scared. I want to go home. Maybe I can't go home. Maybe it's not safe, right? No, it's not safe. Too much. Come here. There's a phrase that lifeguards use. It's relax. I gotcha. I gotcha. Now, if you want, you can spend the night at my place. And I guarantee you'll be safe. And tomorrow? And tomorrow, when the sun comes up, we'll, uh, we'll try to make some sense of this. Make sure we keep you safe. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go.
You all right? Yeah. I heard you and Nikki were almost killed. Exactly. Almost. We were almost killed. Just enough time to get away. Well, you were lucky. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Except the timing was just perfect. I mean, it was too perfect. Another couple of seconds of parts of me would be in Oxnard. Do me a favor, will you? We're gonna check on this and see if, uh... It can trigger an explosion. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Ten to one, I'd find you here. Gee, there's a safe bet. I got no life, Mitch. I'm either at the federal building or I'm here. Take it from me, will you, pal? <clears throat> Sad, isn't it? Breaking my heart. <laughs> hey, buddy, I need a favor. Official? No, actually, off the record. I need a background check. Deep? Very deep. That's gonna cost you, old buddy. <sighs> Desperate, lonely man, Mitch. You need to meet a woman. Oh, my. Now, you're surrounded by women. All I need is an introduction. Who this time? The blonde. CJ. No, 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 not CJ, the other one. You know, the one that bought the, uh, the club. Nice. Donna. You want me to fix you up with Donna? Mitch, I don't know what it is about her, but she's like, she's like a goddess. Now, come on, pal, it's just an introduction. I mean, hell, it could be kismet. She's got a guy, very rich. I'm not looking for marriage, just a little conversation. Come on, Mitch, I mean, think of it as, think of it as a mission of mercy. Well, she's gonna kill me. Deal. Great. Now, what's the name you want me to check out? Woman, uh, Nikki Schachter. Yeah, don't bother. Here's a 411. What'd she do? I don't know. Maybe nothing. But you don't think so? Okay. I'm running from get up to get gone. You're a prince among thieves. Mitch! I'll talk to Donna and see when she's gonna be at nights, and uh, you can meet me there for a drink. Round five? After five. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Andy. <coughs> Good evening. How are Oh. <gasps> 
Hey, Donna, I need a favor. There's a guy I want you to meet. A guy you want me to meet? Uh, actually, I said that wrong. He wants to meet you. It amounts to the same thing. It's just an introduction. Introduction leads to conversation. To invitation. Then it's dinner. He's charming. We dance. He's cute. He says this, I say that. We leave. He no, wants to go to my place. It's not like that, really. I mean, well, not this time. Okay, how about if I came to you and said, I want to set you up? All you gotta do is say hello. Donna, the guy did me a tremendous favor. What favor? I needed some information on someone, and he got it for me. How's he able to do that? Well, he works for the federal government. Treasury Department. Treasury Department? Why didn't you say so? Then you'll do it? She'll do it. So what'd you get on Jansen, carbon monoxide? Uh, it turns out odorless sulfuric acid in his humidifier. They've got him in a hyperbaric chamber. I tell you, the cops are all over this now, knee-deep and rising. Buchanan. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I told you, after five. Ned Judd. The Fed. And want a background check on Nikki. Dirty? Looks like little Nikki was in the intelligence branch of the Special Forces. Experts on sabotage and explosives. Okay, she's got a working knowledge, but uh, what's the motive? Father committed suicide. Turns out his company was absorbed by rankers legally, but uh, she feels they steamrolled. Motive? Revenge. Hey, guys. You were right. This thing was modified. I mean, it's not going to open any trucks, but it'll definitely light up the parking lot. Get to the hospital and uh, sit with Rex. Right. He's got a condo at the marina. Let's do it. Nikki's really lost it, killing all those people just to bring a company down. Yeah, I just hope Debbie's not her next victim. You're crazy. Why are you doing this? I said shut up. We can talk this out. It's too late for that. Are you kidding? Get in the boat. Come on, come on. Hey. Move. Hey. What? Sit down. In the corner. What? Sit down. God, you don't have to do that. I'm not going to give you any trouble, I promise. Yeah, that's what your lawyer sold my father just before they bought him out at 10 cents on the dollar. Before they crushed him. Back up, huh?
It's ready to go off if it's pulled loose. I can't get out. Alright, hang on, hang on, I'll get you out of here. Okay now. Come on. So you're telling me that she had the chance to jump and didn't? Yeah. I guess she knew it was over. Oh, that's heavy. What's that saying about uh, vengeance? If you're out for revenge, dig two graves, one for yourself. Uh, speaking of digging a grave for yourself, how's that deal with Donna coming along? <laughs> I'm about to find out. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mitch. Hey. hey, say, bud. How are you? I'm good. Well, look at you. You look terrific. Oh, my God. She's more incredible than I remember. Yeah, I know. Um, why don't you sit down and have a drink here, and what I'll do is I'll just you know, smooth things over and let her know you're here, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. You look great. Thanks. Uh, excuse me. He's here. Who? Him. Him? Yeah, the guy you told you he wanted to meet you. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Donna, you promised. No, I didn't promise. Okay, well, you didn't promise, but look, the guy gave me a huge favor. Please, don't let me down. You know, it's very dangerous, this business of meeting men in bars. Strange men, even in familiar bars. It always leads to problems. Don't do this to me. Just an introduction. Isn't that how it always starts? Haven't we had this conversation? And I'm still concerned. Ah. Did I mention that he's with the Treasury Department? Yes. What if I find him interesting? Are you messing with me? I don't know, am I? <sighs> you owe me. Hi, Ned, right? Yeah. Ned? Uh -huh. I'm Donna. Welcome to Nights. Thanks. It's a pleasure to meet you. My mind, mine too. Mitch tells me you're a man in the know. Oh, really? Well, uh, not, not exactly. Well, one thing you learn running a bar, confident, good-looking men never have to brag. I love that. It's very sexy. So this is your first time in Nights. Allow me to buy your first drink. Oh, thanks. Have you seen the patio? No, no, no. Oh, you'll love it. Oh, oh great. So the Treasury Department. Is that like the IRS? Somewhere. Devil is watching as we slide in. 